Behind me I have two full-size off-road trucks built by General Motors, but they're built by two different brands. I'm of course talking about the Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and the GMC Sierra 1500. Now this is where things get interesting because these, like I mentioned, are both the off-road spec. This is the Silverado Trail Boss and this is the Sierra 84. And in this video, we're gonna compare them and see which one you should get. There are two primary versions of the Silverado Trail Boss. The more entry level model is called the Custom. This one is the higher end LT. You do have a couple of different engine options when you purchase the Trail Boss. You can get a 5.3 liter V8, a 6.2 liter V8. This one has a very dirty engine, but underneath the dirt and the dust from many miles of off-roading is a 5.3 liter V8 mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This engine develops about 355 horsepower and about 383 pound-feet of torque. The 10-speed automatic is fantastic. If you're going to buy a 1500 Silverado, be sure to get the 10 speed because it is the way to go. I can't recommend it enough. Tis the season for great gifts and what gift could be better than music? This is the Cove Commuter 2. The perfect speaker for tailgates, camping, or just working in your garage. That's right, there's no more running down your truck's battery just to play some tunes. And the sound quality is great. Take a listen. Now right now, the speaker is throwing out 360 degree sound all around, but split it in half and you get true stereo audio. You buy one speaker, but you really get two. If you get a call while connected, the Cove even answers with a built-in mic. The commuter is water resistant and it lasts me up to seven hours on a charge. Now the speaker usually costs $229.99, but you can get over 67% off by using the code FAST67. Click the link in the description below and check them out. The Sierra 84 is also available in several engines, but one of the coolest parts about the 84 when compared to the Trail Boss is that you can get this truck with one of the coolest new engines available on the market, the three liter Duramax diesel. It's an inline straight six diesel in a half ton truck. That would be a, uh, quite the shock to people even 10 years ago, but now you can buy it in a lot of different configurations of Sierra. Now here in the AT4, uh, you get the off-road goodies, which we'll talk about in a second, and you also get 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. This is probably the biggest reason to buy the Sierra 84 over the Silverado Trail Boss, because for some reason, Chevrolet does not let you spec that diesel in uh, the, the Silverado Trail Boss, so that's kind of a shame, but that's not such a bad thing because there are other advantages to the Sierra. Let's talk about the front end style. Now design is of course gonna be very subjective, but in my opinion, both the Chevrolet and the GMC are very good looking full size trucks. This generation, they have really aced in the design department, at least in my opinion. Now, which one do I like more? It's kind of hard to say. I think that the, uh, the Silverado is a little bit more angular, a little bit more interesting to look at. I do like these big vents that they incorporated here along the side, uh, and the daytime running light is very aggressive, but the GMC is a little bit more grown up, a little bit more sophisticated. I really do like the headlights a lot in the GMC with this uh, design they've incorporated into the daytime running lights that kind of points toward the grill, and the grill is just huge and accentuated here on the front of the Sierra. So I think I'm gonna give the, uh, the design award to the Sierra, I just, uh, it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit more simple. But one funny thing is being the off-road trim of each one of these vehicles, uh, they did incorporate front recovery points, which is great. Uh, you can use the front recovery points because they are painted red, that is crucial. <laughs> but check this out. Here on the Silverado, they're actually mounted horizontal. Here on the Sierra, they are mounted vertically. Uh, I don't know which one is more useful, I think access to both is pretty good. Crawling underneath both trucks do have a plastic front fascia here, but just below the front fascia is actually a big metal skid plate. So both of them do have the uh, front end protection needed when you go uh, bashing into some rocks. Now the tailgate in the Silverado is a one touch open. There's no handle, just a button. Push the button and it will slide down. Now this truck does have a steel bed with a spray and bed liner. It is actually a very useful bed though. Uh, 
Chevrolet's done a great job of incorporating a bunch of useful features. So you've got places here to stack your wood boards, really good tie downs, three tie downs along both rear rails. You also have three more here toward the front by the cab. Yeah, just a, a great bed, but the Sierra does step it up a notch or two with some of the bed technology. First up, we have the multi-pro tailgate. So rather than having one button on the back of the tailgate, you actually have two and they do various things. So this top button opens this little panel here. And this is great if you're hauling long yet narrow items, you can kind of poke them out the back and this even plops up like this. So you've got a nice little divider to keep things in place. But the bigger purpose of that is actually to operate as a step. So lower it as a standard tailgate, push the next button, <laughs> slide this down. And now I have easy access into the bed and they even incorporate here, check this out, a grab handle. So uh, in terms of um, the sheer amount of technology when it comes to getting into the bed, the Sierra definitely wins. And look at this, there's even an optional kicker um, sound system back here which you can pair to your phone and play your tunes if you're tailgating. But what about the bed itself? Well, it's a very interesting design. Now it looks like it's got a plastic drop in bed liner, but this material here is actually a carbon pro finish as they call it, basically like a reinforced carbon fiber plastic. And this is a composite bed. So there is no, you know, metal structure underneath. This is not just a plop in liner. This is actually the bed itself. And GMC says it's very strong. I've actually dropped many, many items in here. I've bashed on it with um, baseball bats and golf clubs and bricks. And it does seem to hold up pretty well, at least in the short term, but a lot of capability here. You can see how far the bed wall actually goes and kind of sculpts in here toward the fender. And we have bigger areas here for wood. The fender flares are nice and low in this vehicle, but because it's a composite material, they can get really creative with some of the cutouts. So look at, look at this right here. We have three different cutouts for motorcycle tires. So you could put one here, one here, if you're riding uh, with two, or you could put one in the middle. Tons of tie downs here as well, so you can crisscross straps. Uh, we've got lighting back here as well. It's a very, very high tech piece of engineering. How it will last over many, many years of abuse, I have yet to really find out because it's such a new truck. But in terms of bed usability, this Carbon Pro is a step above the standard steel bed in the Silverado. The big deal with the Trail Boss and the AT4 trucks here is that they are, like I keep mentioning, the off-road worthy trim. So they include a, a raised suspension. I think it's like an inch or so higher than the, uh, the standard versions of these vehicles. They also include the G80 rear locker and they also include these off-road tires. Now here on the Silverado, we've got a blacked out 18 inch wheel and then it's wrapped in the Goodyear Wrangler tire. Here on the uh, AT4, 18 inch wheel as well, Goodyear Wrangler dirt track tire as well. But the wheel design is pretty different from the Silverado. It's got a polished finish with these grayed out accents here on the inside. Now in terms of suspension, they both have independent front suspension and they're both running Rancho shocks. Like I mentioned, this is the LT Trail Boss. The Custom has a much more basic interior than this truck, but because it's an LT, a lot of luxuries. Now, I know a lot of people harp on the uh, Silverado and Sierra interior design, but um, it's actually pretty functional. It has really grown on me over the 14,000 miles we've owned this truck. Uh, very basic controls here in the center, uh, but you know, it's got enough technology to keep you um, in the loop, keep you entertained without going overboard. So eight inch screen here, uh, XM capability as well. If we go home, we can see the various apps for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This truck doesn't actually come equipped as configured with a navigation system. You just simply pair your phone and that's perfect. But below that dual zone automatic climate controls. This one has heated seats. It does not have ventilated seats. In terms of the steering wheel, leather wrapped and it is heated. If you get the custom, you can uh, spec it with a, um, a plastic steering wheel, no heating. You can actually eliminate some of the steering wheel controls altogether. Uh, so a lot of configurations when it comes to the Silverado 4. Uh, many, many different budgets, uh, depending on how much you want to spend. But this one has the integrated trailer brake controller as well. Column shift here for the 10 speed automatic transmission. Seats are good. They're a little firm, but they're pretty supportive and uh, it's held up well. I mean, we have driven this vehicle hard. It's, it's been through uh, many uh, cycles of dirty boots and stuff, and it's easy to clean and just overall a good interior. Now the GMC, at least in theory, is supposed to be a little bit upmarket. Let's see if that's true. 
time to slide into the luxurious Sierra interior. And the first thing you notice when compared to the Silverado is that it is exactly the same. Okay, I'm being a little bit sarcastic. You know what, I'm not being that sarcastic. The interior design on the Sierra is pretty much identical. The center stack, the screen layout, the button layout is nearly exactly the same. Couple of differences. They do have a chrome surround on the knobs in the GMC here. You do have square gauges rather than circle gauges and a slightly bigger kind of cluster screen here. But apart from that, the steering wheel design, nearly identical, the seat design, has these little brown inserts which are cool but nearly identical uh, yeah it's it's hard to tell them apart now this one is specced differently than that Silverado so we do have a number of luxury upgrades stuff like there are the ventilated seats this one also has the wireless charging tray I bet this one will also have integrated navigation it sure does so it's got integrated navigation but apart from that it's it's hard to tell these interiors apart I do like the higher resolution screen in the middle of the uh, Sierra it just looks a little bit more premium but I wish they would do more to differentiate these trucks especially in like the Denali I'd expect some crazy luxuries out of that truck that uh, you just really don't get even compared to a LT Silverado like that uh, sunroof in this one small sunroof it's not the full panoramic big center storage um, similar to the Silverado uh, but let's hop out and talk about pricing because that's where the real differences are so which one should you buy the trail boss or the AT4? Well, it really is gonna come down to budget, personal preference, and then engine choice. If you really want the off-road 1500 truck with a diesel, you gotta go Sierra because Trail Boss doesn't offer that awesome three liter. In terms of pricing, you know, pricing is all over the board depending on trips and options. That particular LT Trail Boss is 55 grand. That AT4 is about 64,000, but of course that one has the Carbon Pro bed and the diesel. I mean, if it were me, I'd look at them, I'd look at availability in terms of dealerships, which dealership is better and closer to me, uh, what discounts are out there, and then kind of which color and trim I like more because they are very closely matched. Both great trucks, just uh, very, very similar in terms of feel and even capability. Well, as always, this has been Tommy with the Fast Lane Truck. Head over to tfltruck.com for the latest and greatest in new truck reviews.